Hi, welcome to an Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do the coupling with draft, but maybe without draft because I can't do a draft with a surface as neutral element only with planes. So I took a slightly different approach and now let's have some fun with Fusion 360. Okay. First I need some planes as reference elements, so let's maybe show our origin and add some planes. I need one with an offset of 205mm, another one with an offset of 60mm, and two more, one with an offset of 1mm to this one, and another one to this one with an offset of one millimeter as well. Let's check it out if it worked. Just take a look over here. Yes. Okay. Now let's do our first sketch and that would be on that plane. Sketch right here. And you have to project those elements into your sketch plane. So go for P, project, and project this one and that one. Okay. And make these elements for construction purpose only. That's just a precaution. No, this didn't project, so let's draw once again. No. It worked and make it for that was still selected and there is no possibility to set it for construction only that's crazy because usually it does Okay, then I need a sketch which should start right here and maybe look something like this. Now that point should be in that plane coincident and that line should be collinear to this one. No collinear. Okay, give it some dimensions, one over here, which should be 42.4 and another one right here, which should be 46.7. And all these elements should be for construction only. Let's see. Now it works. That's kind of odd, but maybe today it's a little bit slow. And let's draw another close profile, maybe something like this. And close it and add some constraints. So I would need midpoint, there it is, midpoint, that point should be the midpoint of that line. And that point should be the midpoint of that line. Okay, now let's align these points vertically. Okay, add some dimensions. This should be 30, and usually you should not do it like this, but you should dimension the elements 30, and that should be 16. 
so my first sketch is ready stop sketch and now make an extrude make it symmetric use the complete length and that would be 60 okay next sketch should be on the origin plane yeah and this should look something like this okay I need to project at least one plane and that would be plane one and let's see if I can make it for construction only I could hide this body for the moment and that should be for construction only not possible that's crazy and these two should be collinear go for collinear that one and that one and go for midpoint that line that point give it a dimension this should be 50 and there should be an angle it is 6 degrees and the same over here but first you have to remove that constraint which I snapped on by accident so add this dimension right here as well 86 degrees looks good stop the sketch now let's show the body and I could do a new body and then make an intersection or just make an extrude with intersection so let's select the profile and make it to two sides or make it symmetric whatever you like and whole length maybe and not a new body but you could intersect let's move this up like this that should do the trick so 150 millimeters is okay and okay and I got my base body very nice let's add some fillets so go for fillet and this should be 10 and that over here should be 10 as well another fillet on this one which should be 40 and another one sometimes it's oh, right here and that would be 26 okay now as I told you before you can do a draft but only from a plane as neutral element so this will not work therefore I have to do it different I will use a sweep and cut the body into two or three different bodies and so create my draft first I need another sketch maybe hide this body for the moment that sketch would be on that plane and again I need those elements projected so I'll go for P1 2 okay and sketch is the same as before I cannot copy I can copy but only the elements you can't copy a sketch in fusion at least at the moment it's not possible so put 
this point into that plane and make that line collinear to that projected element. Add some dimensions, that would be 42.4 and this one would be 46.0. Now let's stop the sketch and make a patch extrude. Go for patch, go for extrude and extrude this one. Make it against symmetric and make it 60 millimeters. Now let's add some fillets. One fillet right here, which would be 25, and another one over there, which would be 18. Nice, let's show the body. And I need two offset surfaces from this one. So go to, should be create or modify, let's create offset this body. Strange that it goes in that direction positive, but it doesn't matter. One millimeter offset. And another one. In the other direction, that would be minus one. Let's hide this body because I need these two. Let's show our body. And now I want to split the faces of this body here and here with that surfaces. So go for modify split face. I don't want to split the body, just the face. And I want to split this face and that face. And use a splitting tool, body 5, the upper one. Yeah, the upper one, it's body 4. Select and confirm. Now I could hide this body and you see I got sort of an edge. I split it this two faces. Another split. Modify split face. Now that face and this face. And the splitting tool would be now body three. This one. And confirm. And hide this body as well. See, so I got my two, let's say, three faces on every side of that body. Now I would go for a sweep, definitely need a sketch. That sketch should be all right. I could do it with a surface, or should I do a extrude? I think I will do an extrude and remove it. Then I have. Hmm, less bodies. Okay, so let's go back to our model. Go for a sketch right on that plane. And I need that point projected into my sketch plane. So I go for P and select just that point and confirm. Then I can could draw a triangle. So maybe like make it bigger mm, come on catch the point why not Let's see if I caught the point. Yes, I did. Let's look normal to our plane. And I see a snap there on. It's 
Something was projected. I didn't mean to project that and to snap on this one. So I will remove this. And I should be able to move this away. Which doesn't quite work. Oh yeah, I got a 3D snap. Really? So maybe I remove this completely. That's because my 3D I really can't catch this one. So <laughs> really stop the sketch and just delete the sketch. Shit happens. No problem. Just draw another sketch right there on that plane. Now let's try again to project that point because I need it. Okay. Then go back to normal view. And now let's draw a sketch. That would be something like this okay should be in the plane let's take a look yes it is and now let's add some dimensions maybe i could just project this as well okay now let's make a dimension this angle should be 86 because I need a 40. Really? That's really kind of odd. So go for 4 degrees. That's more like it. And this could be, yeah, this could be like this, and give it a length, doesn't matter, let's say 10, and that would be, thirty. That's okay. Stop the sketch. And now I want to make a sweep along that edge with that profile to go for the sweep. And use that sketch. Single path is okay. And that single path would be this edge. So go for path and select these edges okay and now cut and confirm and you get a nice four degree draft on that side so let's see if we can mirror that feature so go for create mirror and I want to mirror not faces but features and I want to mirror that feature this one and the middle plane would be the origin plane this one let's see if this works yes same procedure right here, so I need another sketch on that plane again I need that point project it into my sketch so go for this point confirm back and again a profile which starts right here goes there, over here and back and again I need as reference that plane and 
now dimension it, that would be an angle, and that angle would be eighty six. No, it should be four. Yeah, it's kind of irritating. So that could be, let's say, fifteen, and that could be maybe 30 again, doesn't really matter, I'll go for 20, yeah, uh, stop the sketch, now again make a sweep, use that profile along now that path right here, cut, very nice, and mirror that feature again. So go for create, mirror, I want to mirror that feature, the sweep, and the mirror plane would be the same as before. That would be the origin plane right here, and that would be x, y, and OK. So I got my nice little drafts on both sides. Now let's add some fillets with variable radius, so go for fillet. Uh, go for modify fillet. Select the edge, change to variable radius, and then you can select points and do different radius. So the first one should be in this case 10. And you need another point, let's move over here, maybe that one should do, yes, that should be 10 as well. At another point, just move over here and select this one, and that might be 4, and the last one should be 4 as well, and confirm. Let's repeat that one, select this, and again change to variable radius, and now it begins right over here, don't know why, doesn't matter, and that would be 5, next point maybe here, would be 5, then go over here, that would be 8, and the last one would be 8 as well. Same on the other side. Maybe you could mirror that feature. Let's see and check if you can mirror that fillet. So go to create. Usually fillets fail to get mirrored, but let's try. Not an extrude, but a mirror. And I want to mirror that one. Maybe it works. Go to the mirror plane, that would be this plane right here. And see if it works. No, of course it didn't work. <laughs> and I didn't expect it to work. So, let's add another fillet, okay, go for that edge, this should be a variable radius, and first radius should be, that's over here, is 4, next one right here should be 4, next maybe here, should be 10, and the last one should be 10 as well. Confirm. And another one. Select that edge. This should be, again, variable radius. First radius should be 8, then move over here till this gets green. 
This should be eight. And then go right here. That should be five. And the last one should be five as well. And okay. I will make these two fillets on these edges later because I did this once before so you get to see the completed model on in the beginning of this video and there were some difficulties to do the fillets the last fillets so maybe if I change these to different values I, it will work out so this center body is okay i could hide it and now i will go for the other bodies so i need a sketch on that plane and that would be the third plane yes that would be a circle to go for a circle and the diameter should be 50 Okay, now stop the sketch and make an extrude, make it to two sides and the distance to one side should be twenty four and it should have a draft a tapper angle of four degrees and to the other direction so that's the wrong one so it should be minus four degrees and the other direction one millimeter and confirm now i could mirror this one so go for create mirror i want to mirror this body not feature that body and the mirror plane should be the x set plane and confirm and then another sketch on that plane that would be plane 4 yeah again this should be a circle diameter should be 30 and I need that plane projected into my sketch plane. Okay. Now, where is it? There it is. This point should be aligned to that one. And that point should be right in that plane again. Stop the sketch. It's almost the same extrude. Go for extrude, make it two-sided, use that sketch, and in one direction it's 14, and tap angle minus 4, and that distance would be 1 millimeter, confirm. Now let's mirror this body. Mirror, body, okay and the mirror plane would be plane 4 and confirm now let's combine these and make one body of it so go to maybe should be modify combine this body and that body join it and repeat that command with these as well and ok now let's show all the bodies. Usually it's better to do the fillets before combining these bodies, so I try to do the fillets before. Let's go for this edge and that one. Make it 0 0.5. Repeat those fillets over here. 1, 2, 0 0.5. And repeat it again on this edge and that edge again 0 0.5 and over here 
another fillet this edge and that edge 0 0.5 now let's combine these three bodies go for modify combine one now maybe use that as target body two body one two body two join them and make the holes go to create hole on that face move this to the center just drag it it will snap that should be 30 through all and another hole right there drag it to the center it will or should snap yes that would be 18 and confirm now let's see which fillets work fillet one two six millimeter fillet right here six millimeter yes works now the fillet on this one and that one let's see four yes and I might need a camphor on this edge well, that might be one equal distance and on that edge as well yeah, sometimes okay repeat camphor over here one okay and maybe a smaller one here it says 0 0.5 and down below another camphor 0 0.5 and now I can't really make a fillet right here that's odd because in every other program it works but right here it doesn't work let's check the situation maybe I could make a fillet here let's go for fillet see it selects the complete edge but if you want to add a fillet it doesn't work hmm. so maybe I do not go for a tangent chain and select single edges and see if it works out so go for fillet and not tang and let's see maybe only these edges up to this one you can make it let's see four still doesn't work okay let's save this and I will check if I can do something right here we'll check and we'll come back to this video so it's really quite difficult to get a fill, a fill it right here to get a fill it right there so maybe you just leave it like it is or yeah some sort of workaround to make it look better would be for example I will split this body with these face bodies with that one and that one so let's go to split body and I want to split that body with that surface and extend that splitting tool so make sure go to splitting tool that would be this one but if you select it right here it doesn't work so go to split body and I want to split that body with that tool 
So go right over here and that would be one of these tools. That's the lower one. Yes, and extend splitting tool. And okay. Now you got two bodies. That one and this one. So no, let's hide this. And now split. Let's take a look. that body with the upper one so i'm going to split that body with that splitting tool this one and extend splitting tool and okay now i should have three bodies yes and now i could just hide these and see one and i could try to fillet these so I will make a fillet right here with two millimeters and another fillet right there with two millimeters should work let's show this body okay now combine these so go for combine one two, three, confirm, and now I could try to make a loft, this is that it's just trick, so go to create, make a loft, make a loft from this profile to that profile, okay, and not cut but join okay that's sort of closed but it's not i the perfect solution and the same over here because i want to get it finished so let's go to another loft select this surface right here and that one and again make a join and it's sort of closed and it looks good yeah so hope you enjoyed this sort of lengthy one if you want to see more give it a like down below leave hopefully a nice comment thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye